radio towers at night and the vacant gas stations. The cemetery road with rows of old graves arched and cross-topped in the darkness. Midwest trash charms, pancake shack talisman. Driving through back streets, caught somewhere between rundown suburb and trailer park. And it's AM car radio late night and fear gnawing. You are unsafe, they tell us. You should be worried. You have reason to be alarmed. In one of her new country songs, Agnes McCanty sings, We all need someone to catch us when we fall, but these days I catch myself falling alone. Agnes told Riley Boone over the phone, I can't afford to shop elsewhere, but I stopped going to Walmart because I always saw the worst in people. Agnes told Riley about the woman hitting her child by the wall of macaroni and cheese boxes, the cheery blue and yellow, the branded packages from kids' movies, wagon wheel noodle shapes to make it more fun. Hot Rod Night, where did you go? When did the innocence end? Walmart parking lots are sullen, idling dually trucks with bumper stickers about making America something it never was to begin with. The fight Riley's cousin Ray saw by the old RV on the edge of the lot. The big man hitting that short man's face into the asphalt and afterward his teeth lay in cracked pieces in the pool of blood around his face like some holy radiance. them I want to be free and easy but it's not easy to be free and it's not free to be easy on the lawn as I pass an old 40 bottle and I wish it was full on the seat next to me I think of lying in the hot bath back on the farm and drinking it hot water cold beer numb my anxiety forget Forget. Forget.
We've got worries. This is a worried song. This is a worried song. Agnes moved to the country after the inauguration. She lives in her van on three acres of woodland Carl Boone bought when he sold his Halloween store. She can't find a job, but unemployment pays for groceries. The rest she gets playing old country covers in local bars. She sings the hits she grew up with. The songs Michael the Bear would listen to on Sunday afternoons in North Park. She sings the last thing I wanted. The first thing this morning was to have you walk out on me. After she lost custody of her kid, Agnes quit drinking or she tries not to drink. She writes her daughter postcards and talks about ill-attended shows and people talking while she sings. She sips a flask of beam and reads western novels in the back of the van and gets lost in the stories to forget about her life. Agnes, how do we live through tonight? How do we make it through the day? What is it that works for everyone else? Country music, religion, TV, pills, whiskey. Agnes, don't give up. Don't settle. Don't drop into the darkness. Don't fall from the light. And now it's IRS letters, debt collectors calling, battles with the insurance company unease, lingering dread after the panic attack has passed. Turn off the radio, you're getting fatalistic again. I drive past a car wash with yellow police tape bar in the entrance and three patrol cars with lights spinning. I think of the gunshots I heard last night while lying in bed unable to sleep. I think of strip mining, friends stuck in bad places. I think about hearing loss, painful distances, trains I should be on. Agnes says her head is a magician's box that shit disappears into. When it's inside, it's eaten alive in the darkness. It's wolves hunting the rabbit in pitch black, and the rabbit never sees the wolves, but he can feel their teeth for a hot three seconds as he's ripped in four directions. America, you broke our heart. It was a thunderclap. November, division, ruination. And now they tear you from limb to limb and we do nothing. They march with torches and they eat your guts in steaming fistfuls. We've learned to laugh it off. We say fuck it and get stupid drunk on a weak night. We ignore the flies we can't slap away but they crawl on our face and they will lay eggs in our eyes. We accept this. We accept slumlords. Racists, big lots, scorched earth, tidal loan shops, a million cops, and a hundred robbers. Voicemails from the great Satan. I'm thinking of the ghost ship on the news and how we waited to hear who was safe. The video of the fires burning that night. This is the story of my generation. How many of us live far away from the people we love? How many of us fight to pay rent? How many apply to jobs for months and hear nothing. 
how many of us are feuding. Agnes, you had a breakdown after the election, and this is what you saw. You saw 10,000 skeletons marching over a black hill, the red sky full of smoke, behind them a great black wall stretching into the distance. You saw a dozen girls' bodies rotting in a basement, and you knew one of them was yours. You saw a vision of the future, your brilliant friends starving to death in Section 8 housing when they're old because this country doesn't want them. In bars you sing, I'm no stranger to the rain, you sing lungs, you sing for the money, but you sing to find a respite from the mistakes of your past, the missteps that keep you up at night. None of us are sleeping. This is a story of my generation.